Hi, thanks for joining me today, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all for joining me. Today I was in Walgreens, and I was shopping around for some items for uh, Thanksgiving, and just picking up some um, hand towels and, you know, things you need to help make a pretty table for Thanksgiving. And I stopped over at the cosmetic section, and I saw some Iman products, and you guys have been asking me to do a tutorial on the foundation or the lip gloss. And not that I didn't want to do it, but I had so much other stuff to get through to do tutorials on that I had put that on hold. And so today I picked up some Iman uh, um, items. First thing I picked up was her, her lip gloss. Now guys, I'll have all the prices listed in the information box. And this lip gloss is called Expose. Let me just take that. I took most of the stuff out already. I didn't take this out. It's a beautiful champagne, beigey, nude lip color. They call this lip shine. I'm going to swatch a little bit on my hand for you so you can see it. And after I do the swatching, guys, I am going to do a quick uh, tutorial for you, showing you the beautiful colors on my face. This is called Expose. Another product I picked up was the eyeshadow. It's the um, dual eyeshadow. This is called Hot Chocolate. Nice dark color here and then a lighter color. And they both seem to be slightly shimmery. Not very, but just slightly. The next thing I picked up was the lip pencil. And this is in Espresso. And I'm going to swatch this for you. This is the lip pencil. And it's really dark, guys. And they had uh, shades lighter than this, but none available. So I am going to go back and um, look for some of the um, the shades that they uh, were, were sold out of now. And I picked up the Iman. Um, this is the... Second to None Luminous Foundation. And it comes in this box, guys. And before I show you the product, I'm going to tell you, when you shop for this in the store, the color of your product or the product itself is actually visible through this plastic um, sheet here, this clear plastic that they have over it. And um, so it really helps you to kind of identify your color. Now, I suggest that when you open this, don't do what I did. I opened this from the bottom, as you can see. Open this from the bottom, and then when I slipped my hand inside to pull out the, the package, of course, my nail scraped along the um, the foundation powder. So if you're going to buy this on, just open it at the top. Now, now, you guys may think, this is too light for me. It's not. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to do a quick um, look for you guys using these products. I'm going to make sure I showed you everything. Yes, I picked up the foundation, the eyeshadow. I picked up the lip pencil and the lip shine. And so I'm going to do a quick look for you to show you how easy these products are. Okay, so before I get started, I've already washed and moisturized my face. I've already primed my, my eye with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm going to get started with the, let's start with the eyeshadows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this eyeshadow. And again, this is called Hot Chocolate. And I'm going to start with the lighter color right here. And I'm going to put that all over my lid from my lash line to my brow bone. And this color goes on very light and it goes on smooth and creamy. Guys, this is a beautiful, soft, shimmery color. It's not overpowering, and it has some shimmer. It's very soft. It's very subtle. Very sophisticated looking. This is really nice. Very soft, very subtle. Very nice. Next, I'm going to be using my... I'm going to pick up the Sigma... 230 to 239, and I'm going to pick up some of that dark color, and I'm going to go 
going to go directly into my crease with this. And tap off any of the excess. I'm going to go right into my crease and just create a dark um, shadow in my crease. And I'm going to blend it downward. Picking up a little more. Tapping off the excess. I'm going to build that color up so that I can soften it down with my Sigma 224 brush. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my Sigma 224 brush and I'm going to soften out the edge of that crease color that I just laid in. And this this brush, if you can see it now, this brush is already working at softening this color. You do not have to rub hard, guys. You just soft, gentle strokes. It just does the trick. Soft, gentle strokes. And softens that line right down, guys. Look at that. Okay. Next, I will be cleaning out from under my eye. I'm going to use the Sigma 182 brush, and I'm just going to read sweep away any fallout that I had from that dark uh, shadow and let me, let me tilt my mirror guys I need my mirror here okay good beautiful guys soft it, it is shimmery but the shimmer is very soft this is very lovely very sophisticated this is the kind of shimmer uh, in this Iman product that I do believe that you can wear to work you can wear it in the daytime you can wear it to church. It's not overpowering. This color again is hot chocolate. I'm going to continue on and I'm going to use a black pencil. And you can use any black pencil, guys. If when you're using products, just use what you have. You don't have to use the same things you see me using. So I'm going to use this black liner and I'm going to line my top lid. Starting at the lash line and drawing a thin line right in there. And don't pull your eye too hard, guys. And I'm going to make a thick enough line so that you can um, see the line. And now I'm going to line my waterline. Gently pull your waterline down and just run your pencil across. So we have our eyes. And this is from the Hot Chocolate Duo, guys. Next, I'm going to pick up my Sigma 109 brush. And I'm going to apply the foundation powder. And this is a luminous powder, guys. It has some uh, shimmer properties, not a lot, but it's not a matte. Um, it's not a matte foundation powder, so keep that in mind. This foundation powder can be used wet or dry. And also, there's a sponge applicator that comes with this. You just simply lift up the foundation tray, and inside there is a sponge to use. And when you're not using your sponge, you can place it back in here. Or if you've just washed your sponge and you can't use it, you can place it in here to dry because underneath there are some little holes here. There are some little holes there that will help the sponge dry uh, a little more quickly. So getting back to the foundation, I'm going to pick up some foundation, tapping off the excess, and I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to... Tap it in, guys, and I am using the foundation. I know you can't you can't see it. This is why I was glad 
that this color was available for me and not the other one because I think I just would have got a powder that was too dark. And I love the way this powder goes on, guys. It almost acts like a full coverage powder. You can definitely see that it's on the skin. It just smooths the skin out beautifully. Guys, look at this. This is so gorgeous on the skin. This makes your skin look like nice. Now again, guys, just be prepared that this powder does have what looks to me to be some gold shimmer in it. It is not matte. It is not a matte powder at all. And I'm glad I'm seeing it in the light. This is a gold reflex. Faint, but it is there. I can see it in this light. Now I'm going to pick up my Sigma uh, 182 brush again and I'm going to just soften this look down just a bit. I do like this powder. I'm not used to wearing powders, foundation powders that have a glow to it, a shimmer in it, unless it's something I just apply to my cheeks only. That's it for the um, foundation. Again, I love the effect it's giving. It, all, it reminds me of the, um, it just reminds me of kind of like MAC foundations that have the um, luminosity to it. So keep that in mind if you're shopping for this. This is not MAC. It does have some low, low, low shimmer properties to it. Okay. Very quickly, I'm going to use the Espresso Pencil and line my lips. softly line my lips and I like to blot my lips together when I after I line them just to take the color down a little bit and I'm going to use my Sigma the 209 this is the lip brush and I'm going to pick up some of that um, Expose, almost forgot the name. This is the tube. It's in a like a jelly tube. You just squeeze it, and the product comes out, just like that, guys. And I'm going to pick up some of that, and I'm going to apply it to my lip. Don't pick up too much, guys, because I did. You could use this product straight from the tube or you can use your lip brush. And there you have it, guys. That's the look with my small haul. I didn't pick up any blush because there wasn't any blush available. But again, I'll go back, pick up a couple of items that I haven't already shown you, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. I hope you enjoyed this um, quick tutorial. And that's it with that. You'll be well and you'll be blessed. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.